Alright, I'm back and I think I will just simply record another tutorial. If you just have recently watched my um, basic Octane tutorial, um, um, you probably uh, may be a happier person now. I hope so. I really hope so. But anyway, um, I think I just uh, I saw I just record um, another tutorial right after this one, so we can play around with Octane a little bit more. And for this, I did grab my old uh, Paladin scene where I created this shield and this sword and so on. And um, some people asked me if they can have the scene file and stuff like that. And today is the day where you can grab the scene file. I don't know what is really so great in the scene but anyway you can definitely grab it now because i will upload uh, this scene file so you can play around with it as well um there is still a lot of old v-ray stuff going on here in the scene so we'll just simply delete all the materials right here and i think there is a lot i didn't even look at the scene right now to be honest and it seems like there is a lot of stuff not edited, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. Shield completes spheres. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to be textured, but anyway, this will definitely be fun. Um, I will just change the resolution here right now. I will also change this here to Octane Renderer and uh, change the resolution here maybe to Full HD. We could also go for 4K, but um, we are not insane so i think this will not really be an option for us okay so full hd will be definitely enough and oh my god i have a spider on my table and normally i would not jump on a chair and scream like a little girl um, but since i'm recording a tutorial i will try to keep this to myself and just scream into myself and i have absolutely no plan what to do with the spider right now and i think what am I doing with the spider? I think I will just simply... Jesus Christ, just keep her in a glass and throw her out the window. Jesus! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I think I got this. Don't worry, I've got this. Okay, I think I will just pause the video, scream, let the spider out the window and then come back. Okay, I'm back and... Uh, Sorry for that. This wasn't really the best start for a tutorial, I guess. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, sorry, really sorry about that. Um, yeah, uh, I, I can't really, uh, I can't really work with spiders. This is um, this is really this is definitely not working for me. Okay, but anyway, let's reload the scene right here. And as you can see, we have here now a nice diffuse render in pure white and I think I did also create something where well, I don't know why I did create this um, I probably had some kind of plan but I did create this box here and I think I will just delete the box here and we'll just leave the ground plane and let me reload the scene once again okay so here we go and I think I want to create here something like um, maybe like a grass scene or something like that you know with some stones and or maybe not grass maybe 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 let's just create some earth or stuff like that maybe this will work pretty well mm. maybe some earth maybe with some grass and then we have this, those nice rocks here in the scene and between this the sword and the, and the shield uh, this might can look pretty good Good. Okay, so I think we will just simply do that. Okay, all right, so let's create an octane material and let's go to, okay, this was a mixed material. Uh, let's create a normal material, uh, octane material. And let's go to mm, glossy and let's go to the bump channel. Um, I did create a noise already uh, I will uh, use this noise for a different scene that I don't really want to talk about now, but you probably will see this scene as well. But I did create uh, an, an, a nice noise and 
yes, um, Octane is working with uh, Cinema 4D noises. And uh, what you have to do, just simply go to Bump, uh, Texture, um, Noise, then just simply go to here, um, Noise, Add a Noise. And then you have set have to set the noise to Buya, octaves 8.5, global scale 200, relative scale 100, 100, 100, detail attenuation uh, 385, delta 123. I don't know if this really has some impact, but uh, high clip definitely has. So 63% brightness minus 1%, contrast minus 14%. Um, so just simply type this value in so you get the same noise. And if we go to Octane settings, if you look here at settings at shader to texture, uh, and this is set to enable, then it will also convert um, uh, something like a noise, uh, a noise shader to a texture. Uh, so this will probably work. So let's reload. First of all, let's pull this onto our ground plane. I'll we'll just rename this here quickly. Uh, let's call this ground. And we will just simply pull this up here. And let's see if we get what I expect. Yes, we already have some, some bumpy in the scene. Okay. The only thing is what we can't really control this way is, I think, we can't really ch we can't really change how much bump we have. I mean, we can change the color. Uh, if we change this to a more grayish color, uh, we will probably lose some bump, or we should lose some bump. And if we change here the white color to maybe something like black, this should also have some impact on this. Yes. Okay. So now we have extremely less bump. Okay. So let's just simply set this here to white and this here to black. And um, I think I can still, I think this will be good enough. Okay, anyway, in the diffuse channel, we will load a texture. So Cinema for the Octane image texture, you will get this texture as well. Um, I just have to find this texture now. Yes, here we go. No. All right. And I think I have to change the texture here a little bit. So let's set this here. First of all, let's click on UV transform projection. Let's open this up. Let's set this here to box. And now let's simply play around here with the scale. Okay, this was maybe a little bit too less. Something like that. Mm. Probably won't work so good in this scene, I think. What I have in mind. Let's just change this here back to one. One and one. Okay. Now this will probably not work this way like expected. Okay, so I guess I have to make a different a different ground. Well maybe let's leave this ground and maybe let's pull some water above it. Let's just simply duplicate the ground. Uh, hold down the control key, left mouse click. Let's duplicate the ground and let's pull this a little bit upwards here. Something like that. Okay. Let's reload the scene. All right. Let's create a new material. Shader Cinema for the Octane material. Let's change this here to specular. Let's change the index to 1.33. Let's pull this here on our around. All right. So now we have some water above our, our, our dirty earth texture, which will probably look good. I think can't really see too much right now, but I think it will be okay. Um, the next thing I want to use is definitely a noise. So I will pull a noise right here. Um, and I think I want to change this here to wavy turbulence. Does this already have an impact here? I think. Yes. And now we definitely have to play around with the values a little bit. Uh, global scale. Um, 
The really bad thing is if we if we use a noise, we always have to reload the scene um, to see the changes. Um, but this shouldn't be really too bad. And uh, let me also up the octaves, maybe to 20. Let's see what that does. Um, doesn't really look too bad. The problem is really that I don't really have too much, too much. Imp okay, I can I can change the brightness can change it to something like that. So this should give me more bump. And then I will change the... Uh, okay, it's just way too much. I'll just change the brightness to something like that. The problem is normally if you if you load a bump map you just go texture cinema for the uh, cinema for the octane image texture and inside the image texture uh, you can control the bump amount via the float. Since this is not possible here uh, because we don't have such a slider inside the noise we need to control um, the bump value uh, with the color. So I will just simply try to control this with the high clip and low clip and the brightness. Um, to change my, my bump amount around. Um, okay, so this doesn't really look too good right now. Maybe global scale, something like 500. Let's see how this looks. Okay. Let's maybe change also the relative scale a little bit. Okay, this might look a little bit better. This looks already a little bit like waves, but I think I still have to pull up the global scale to something like 900 maybe. Yes, I think this looks a little bit better. So I just want to have a little bit of of waves going on here. And I just I just want to see when, when I look at this, uh, at my shield and on my sword and also on the rocks, I just want to see some waves going on in the scene. And I think I will just change the low clip to something like that. So I can see them a little bit better. Yes, and I also want to have this this rock formation here inside my scene. Okay. Doesn't look too perfect right now, but I think it's getting there. So we can also pull up the cyclists here. Oh wow, okay, this is definitely not what we want. Let's pull them a little bit down, 0 0.9, something like that. Let's try it again. Okay, the problem is this is really not mixed enough. I think I will just simply change the protection here to something like, maybe something like spherical. Let's reload this here. Okay, this really doesn't look too good. Let's try it with cylindrical. Nope. Let's try it with UV mapping. Yes, this might work, I think. This might really work. Okay, so we'll just leave it. Uh, we might change this a little later on anyway. Okay, so the next thing, what is really important for us is definitely um, the gold material and also the silver material. So we'll just simply create an octane material, go to specular, no, not specular, sorry for that, glossy. Uh, change the index to really high, maybe something like eight. Diffuse, uh, like I said in my octane basic tutorial, we'll change this to something like 15% black for metal materials and then just go with the specular layer and just simply search for my gold color um, maybe something like that and just simply apply this here to our sword but now we have to find all the rights okay I think first of all I will apply this to the shield so the cross will definitely be golden so let's reload this here okay it's not really the gold color I'm looking for but I can change the color uh, later on anyway so here for the spheres, I will just pull this gold color as well. And anything else on the shield? No, I think that's it. And for my sword, 
Let me just check this. Let me pull this up. Okay, now. There I definitely don't want to have my gold. I think I want to have it here now. That's the silver color. Um, okay, I, because I can already see here in the perspective view where the, where the material will be applied and there it's definitely not the right way. Uh, what's here going on? Yes, okay, here I definitely want to have some gold. Okay. And I think this was also gold. Golden, I think, and also here the, uh, the tape was also golden, I think. Yes, something like that. Okay, and I also definitely want to change the roughness here to something like 0 0.05 maybe. And I want to change the color a little bit in the specular, maybe to something brighter. Maybe something like that. Yeah, might might look good. I mean, we can still do a lot of stuff with the color in in post work anyway. Um, but I think we are we are good so far. Um, I definitely also want to get in some lightning, and I'm thinking about maybe a daylight system where we can use an HDRI. That's a good question. I have absolutely no clue right now. I think I will try it first of all with a daylight. So let's pull in the daylight and let's set the timer to something like 8 o'clock and also enable the expression. All right, let's reload the scene. Okay, this might already look good, but I'm not 100% satisfied. Let's also change this here to true light. This will definitely also give us a different impact. Okay, this is really, really white, but doesn't look too bad. And what's going on here, by the way? Huh? What's that? Probably the tiling of the noise, which doesn't look too good, I think. Uh, but anyway, we can change this later on. Okay. So first of all, let's fix the lightning. Um, it's a little bit too bright, I think. Let's maybe set this... Let's set this here to 10 o'clock. Uh, okay, so we'll just simply get brighter. Let's maybe try it with 17. It's really, really late in the afternoon. Doesn't look too bad. Let's try it with 18. 18 o'clock in the summer. Well, this looks pretty good, I think. We can still change the power here a little bit if you want to. We can pull up the power, we can pull it down. Um, but I think the value of one was pretty good. And then we can also change around the noise offset if you want to. Yes, this looks pretty good, I think. Okay, all right. And we can also change the sun size a little bit so we get softer shadows. Um, Maybe let's set the sun size to something like two. And let's also change the sky maybe to something brighter. Yeah, maybe something like that. I think I like that. I think I already like that. Okay, and let's also create a camera from this spot right here. Um, next thing we want to do is smoke a cigarette. Um, or, or not. A better would be not, but in my case, definitely. And then we just uh, apply uh, Octane Tag, Octane Camera Tag to our camera. We could have just created an object Octane Camera right here, but anyway. And um, enable the camera imager. We can also adjust here a little bit of stuff. Um, let's change the curves maybe a little bit. Let's see what we can get out of this picture. Not much because we are not in, in the camera right now. Okay, now we are. So let's change the curves a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay, so this doesn't look doesn't look too bad right now. Uh, but I didn't find the right curve yet. Uh, I think I will change this later on in Photoshop on After Effects. Uh, it 
it's always nice to play around with this stuff, but I think right now it's probably not the best time. So I think I will just leave this at basic Aqua Color Futura 100 CD. Um, I think I definitely have a spelling problem today. Well, maybe not only today, maybe always, who knows. Um, maybe you can tell, guys. Um, I also want to tick on post processing just to try it out what we what we can get here if we pull up a little bit of diffusion stuff like that and maybe also some glare power well might look nice but not right now just a little bit maybe okay whatever okay um let's jump out of the camera so we have our basic view for the final shot i think uh, we can still change this later on next thing i want to do is duplicate this gold material and let me also call this gold and now we will create our silver material so which will just change the specular here to a silver material and now we'll just simply i will just click in the scene on my when i'm here in object mode i just have to click on this and cinema vd will automatically show me where i have to apply my material where is object is okay so this is silver this looks pretty good then i wanna texture this part right okay let me disable the daylight for now then i want to texture this part right here and this is that one okay let's reload this okay looks pretty good maybe an hjri will be better for lightning because it's not reflecting really much but we could also just pull in a plane and pull up put a picture on it uh, to get some more reflections because metal will not really look that great if it's not reflecting much but anyway uh, next thing next thing i wanna uh, i wanna texture is this i think this will be a gold material right here and the inside will be some kind of a diamond i think and um, i also wanna texture this here here the inside i think here is the hilt why is this anyway Let's reload this. Yes, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. And the next thing I want to create is a red glass material. So let's create create shader octane material. Let's rename this red glass. And let's change this here to specular. And Let's go to transmission, change this to a really, really red color, maybe something like that. So 78.571% in the V, R200, S100%, okay. And let's pull this exactly here on this, on this one right here, yes. Nice. Okay, so I think this is and I think I also want to change the silver material a little bit. Uh, let's make this a little bit brighter, something like that, maybe. Yes, I think this looks a little bit better. Okay. And... Let's tick on the Octane Daylight again and let's jump into our camera and let's see what we get. Maybe I want to change the camera a little bit. Maybe to something like that. And I also want to change the sun a little bit because this this word here is 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 completely um, uh, doesn't get any sunlight, which I don't really like. So let's just simply play around with the north offset. When the sun comes from there, I don't know if I really like that. Hard to tell, hard to tell. I think I also have to uh, have to move this rock here a little bit. Which one is it? This one. Okay. Let me jump out of the camera and let me move this over here. Maybe this helps a little bit. No, not really. We're just moving back. Let's move the rock back. Okay. Hmm. Let's just change this here a little bit. 
Maybe there's something like that. If I pull now up the the post processing, this will give us some nice results, I think, because the sun hits here directly the the sword, which looks pretty good. And also, if you pull up the bloom power, this will probably look pretty good. Okay, we'll do this in post work, I think. Anyway, just wanna see a quick preview here how this can look. Okay, perfect. Um, so we'll tick this off. Um, okay, the next thing I wanna do is I definitely wanna texture those rocks. So a uh, good side that will come in handy for nice textures is always cgtextures.com. So here we are, CG textures, and we will just simply type in rock. And let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so we definitely can choose here from some things, uh, from some textures. Let's see what fits us the best. Uh, hmm. Really a good question. I have absolutely no clue right now. Maybe something like that. Maybe something like that will look good. Or maybe something like that. Like that, like that. I don't know. Let's open up this one. Let's open up this one. Um, I just want to really have a, a big texture. Log into download. Okay, we'll just simply log in. Okay, I just logged in. Perfect. So I will just download. Good question. Absolutely no clue. Let's maybe let's just download this one. Okay, and let's load this texture. Um, go to create shader cinema for the octane octane material. Diffuse texture cinema for the octane image texture. Let's jump in and let's load our file. All right, load it and. Let's just simply pull this up on our rocks and let's see how this looks like. And I think I did pull this here on the wrong one. Okay. We definitely need some bump to make this look a little bit more realistic. So let's just copy this channel, pull it into the bump, paste channel. And now we can just simply set the type here to alpha. I think this will create automatically a black and white map of this. At least I hope so, I think so. Uh, let's just jump out of the camera. I wanna look a little bit closer if we have some bump here going on. And this is really some weird, weird texturing right here. Um, this might be because of the UV mapping. So we probably have to change this. But first of all, let me see if, we, if I get any bump. I don't think so, to be honest. Let's just leave this at normal. I think normal will give us at least a little bit of bump. I mean, I could change this right here to, um, to a black and white map anyway, inside of Photoshop quickly. Or can I use something like a colorizer on this? Yes, I can. Okay, that's even better. Let's change this to black and white. And let's reload the scene. This might give us some bump now. Yes, I think, I think it does. Displacement would be really, really much appreciated in Octane. I'm really waiting for it. I can't, can't wait till it, till it will be released. Uh, to be honest, I really, really can't wait for displacement. I think this is really the one big feature that is, that, that is really missing in Octane right now is definitely displacement. Um, but anyway, um, so we'll just jump in into this image texture and we'll just hit on projection, I think, and we'll see if I can map this a little bit better, maybe with cylindrical. Um, I'm not sure if I can see this update right here. Is it even working? I think I have before of this, I have to click on UV transform. Let's try it with box perspective. Why is it not working? 
Okay, I think this is definitely my fault and I think it's way too early in the morning to really work at my at my best level. I just simply did this in the bump channel, which is probably not the best way because it's absolutely okay that I don't see anything right here. So we'll just simply do this in the diffuse channel, which is probably a better idea. So um, let's click on UV transform, projection. Let's open up the projection and let's change this here to cylindrical. And as you can see, there is definitely something changing. Surprise, surprise. Okay, I should really maybe sometimes get some sleep before I record something. But yeah. Well, maybe... Uh, I think we'll just turn down the scale a little bit. Ah, no, no good idea. I don't think that cylindrical will really work here. A box probably doesn't as well. Ah, UV definitely not. We already know that. Maybe it's hmm. hard to tell. Let's change this down here. something like that maybe let me just check this no this doesn't really look good mm -hmm. <sighs> okay 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 let's just go with box for now Reset, okay. Okay, okay. Maybe like this. Maybe I just don't like the color of the rocks. This could also, this could easily be that I don't like the color. Maybe we can, yeah. Let's just change the rotation a little bit, maybe. Maybe that, maybe that makes it look a little bit better. Hmm. I don't really like the rocks yet. I mean, we could really, really improve those rocks a lot if we, if we would have this placement. I mean, honestly, this placement would be so fat right now. But anyway, we don't have it, so can't really complain about it. Um. Um. Yeah. I think I will just leave it right there, right now. But I really want to make a nice shot right here. And this is not perfect for a nice shot yet. Okay, but anyway. And I think I will also now um, change this plane where we have the water. Uh, let me just pull up an object tag on it. Let me set this to mesh number one. And let me create another camera right here. I think I like this view a little bit better. Octane camera, okay. And um, let's change this plane a little bit from the, uh, here in the height. So maybe I still get a little, so I still see a little bit. It's not really updating. Let me maybe also put put an object, an object tag also on the second ground, uh, where we have this earth texture uh, object tag. And let me set this to mesh two. And now let me just, let's see if that helps. Let's reload this here. Yeah, something like that. Do we have some water here now? I don't think so. But there should be some water. Yeah, no. Almost. Okay, I think where 
Where is this ground texture located? Object height width coordination 0. Okay, let's set this here to 0.05. 0.01 uh, huh? Okay, what's going on here? Why does it look like that right now? Let's change this to 0.02 Okay 0.05 Okay This is really weird because I want to see a little bit of the ground and I also want to uh, see a little bit of the water. Why is this not working? Because this water should be definitely translucent, but it's not working like expected and I have absolutely no clue why. Let's maybe, I mean, this shouldn't have any impact if I add here. An SSS to this. Uh, scale at 0.01. No. And I, I just simply want to see a little bit of this dirt and a little bit of this bump from this dirt. This would be really my main concern here, but it's not really working. So right now it's just white. Right now it's just white water. If there is any water. Let's change this to 0 0.02, 0 0.05, 0 0.01. Okay, then I get this weird thing again. Where I have absolutely no clue what's going on. And if I change this to 0.011, I only have water and no and no dirt. Okay, so this is not working like expected. Okay, let's try something else. Let's disable this one ground, this water texture right here. And let's this will really depend on the view, I think. Yes, if I I think the ground texture is, sim is simply not perfect. If I would make a shot like this right here, I mean, this would really look pre pretty good because it still looks something like water because of the IOR of the material and also of the roughness. If I change the roughness here down to zero, you can see this now looks like water. Just simply change here this to 1.33 and I still would have some bump on it. But as soon as I change the camera upwards, so we can see a little bit more, we can definitely see the ground texture with almost no bump. And this doesn't look really too good. Huh. I will just simply, I think I will delete this ground texture. I cannot work with that. So it's just simply water or not. Okay. And I definitely did see the ground as I just saw. Because if I activate now my water, the underground is definitely black so yeah there is definitely something going on here okay 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 anyway um what can we do to improve the scene a little bit more i mean we have some basic rocks we have the sword we have the shield but this doesn't really look too good i think hmm here we also have some nice sunlight, as you can see. Uh, you can see the sun here on the water, which also looks pretty good. Um, another thing that we should do now is create another material and make this here glossy and pull this on our shield. I will just click here on the shield and small shield, big shield. Oh, okay. Okay, I think here it should be gold on those two parts and here it should be glossy. Yes, okay, perfect. 
We could also change the color here to something else. I mean, original, original, this shield was white. We could also change this here to something like black. Not absolutely black, but something like that. Yes, and maybe also pull up the IOR, maybe something like 1.8, uh, 1.6 maybe, no, 1.4 might be enough. And we could also add a little bit more rough. No, I think I will just get rid of the roughness. A little bit. 0 0.02 maybe, something like that. Let's see how the shield looks. Looks pretty... I think in white it looks better. We can really play around with the color here a little bit. Let's try it with a red shield. Looks also pretty nice. Red shield looks really, really cool. But I think we should make it look maybe more metal-like. Maybe something like red metal. Let's pull up the index to something like 6. And now let's just simply change the diffuse here. Uh, something like this. And specular. Something like this. Hmm. I mean, this looks really, really nice. No, it doesn't. I don't like it. I don't know. <laughs> I think I just don't like it. It's just really just playing around a little bit. But this looks nice. Also here with a red specular. Uh, which can definitely happen sometimes with some materials. That also the specular is red. And this way it looks really, really cool. But it doesn't really fit fit into the scene, I think, if we have a red shield there, I don't know. Let's maybe... This is not just really playing around, but I really want to try out some stuff. Let's maybe try it with normal silver. This would also look pretty good. White silver, something like that. Hmm. Something like orange. Okay. Bluish. Hmm. Yes, pink. Pink is definitely the color, the color I want for my paladin shield. Um, I think white is okay. I will just simply change the IR down to 1.6 and uh, change the specular here to complete black and change the diffuse here to white. Uh, something like that. Yes, I think. This way it definitely looks the best. You can't see so, ma so many reflections on, on, on the shield uh, this way, but it doesn't really, doesn't really matter much, I think. Uh, and I think a closer look on the shield and onto the sword uh, can't hurt anyway, but I also want... This looks pretty good, I think. And I also, I think I definitely want to get rid now of this splitting here now on the water, um, which probably is because of the noise. And I also will create a new camera right here. If I like a spot, I just simply create a new camera. So I have definitely some cameras, some spots to choose from. Um, I think I will just create a diamond now. Octane material. What was the IOR of an I of a diamond right now? What was the IOR? I think two point. Good question. Uh, two point one seven. Might this be correct? Well, let's check this. Okay, here we have it. Two point four one seven. Two point four one seven. So even higher. 2.417, okay. And this will probably not look too good since this isn't a real diamond inside here, but uh, we will just check this. Let me click on the inside here. Also, this looks a little bit weird, I think. I think I have to scale this a little bit. Otherwise, I'm not happy. Oh, wow. 
this is completely messed up as you can see this is anywhere I can probably not fix that right now okay so let's just leave it let's pull the diamond on there okay so here we go and I think this was also red mm, let's pull the transmission or something like reddish okay let's also pull up the dispersion a little bit I don't know if we really can see that in the final view anyway but at least it's there and I think I will change the rotation of the sword a little bit uh, here you have the sword and let's just rotate it yeah maybe something like that uh, let's reload the scene mm -hmm. this might look okay and okay and now I want to get rid definitely of this splitting here on the noise this is really really annoying let's see what we can do there um, let's maybe change this here to okay cubic even makes it worse UV mapping does the length really change anything yes it does I think um, how can I get rid of this probably only if I get rid of the bump yes <laughs> oh sweet mother um, let's maybe change the global scale to something like 1500 maybe that helps nope it does not uh, what could help what could help in this case I could just simply move the ground a little bit till we get rid of this stuff no god damn it okay this will not work this way maybe let's just play around with the relative scale doesn't really help this is because of the tiling and this is not really good what can I do here I really have absolutely no plan I have no plan what can I do what can I do what can I do let's change this here radically to spherical which will mess up our bump anyway okay well, I think there is not really a way. Well, maybe let me try something. Okay, oh well, I think this works. Um, I did just pull up the global scale here, something to 1844%. And I did also change the resolution here um, of the shaded texture. To something bigger, 2480 by 1000, 2480 by 2480. And I think this definitely helps a little bit to get rid. So we just simply have a bigger map now. Um, and I think also the global scale helped a little bit. But I think we are finally there now. I think this works now pretty good for us. And I think I also have to pull down my sword here a little bit to the shield because otherwise it looks like it's flying which is not really good okay perfect 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 let's check the materials here I think this looks really pretty good okay and let's maybe also pull the shield a little bit down so it's inside the water let's take the sword and the shield and let's pull it a little bit downwards yes I think this looks pretty cool we could also mix, mix, make a close up shot like that which might also look pretty good ok 
Okay, and now I just want to find a little, a, a better angle for our camera. Um, to be honest, um, don't take this uh, tutorial too serious. I just thought after this basic tutorial, also make a little bit of a fun tutorial and finally um, pull out my 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 Paladin scene. And I'm just really just simply playing around with this scene now and. Um, Playing around a little bit with stuff. There is absolutely nothing planned on this tutorial, so I didn't have any uh, any plan in my head on what I really want to create and um, how this will finally look and stuff like that. So this is really just coming. Everything is coming up right now. This is also why it takes some time, even though I'm not doing so much and there is not so much in the scene. Um, but I'm really just simply playing around with stuff and. Uh, uh, so yeah, so I hope you're not too mad and you still get the scene file and maybe maybe you still learn something. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I think I still want to play around here with the north offset a little bit. If I have the sun here on my water, this would probably look pretty, pretty dope. Um, but yeah. Where was it? I just had it, I think. I just had the sun on my water. Yeah, there it goes. This looks also pretty nice, but I don't like the overall lightning then. <laughs> this is really, really bad. Maybe let's pull up the power. No, no, we shouldn't pull up the power. We can also change it to BDT. Oh, oh, now they changed the power. That's not good. Let's maybe change the stupidity to something like 3. And I think I still have to change the north offset. I really don't like from where the sun comes from. Yeah, maybe something like that. And let's change the power to 1.5. No, I don't want to have... Uh, well, maybe I want to have more softer shadows. Okay, I think it doesn't really have too much impact here in this scene. Okay, anything else I could change? Maybe I could use an area light to light the sword a little bit better. Uh, combined with the sunlight. Well, I think I can just simply change the time here, maybe. And get the sunlight a little bit higher. So it just hits more stuff. Let's maybe do it something like that. And now let me just change the north offset again. And now it's definitely also lightening this... So That's definitely also lighting the sword, and now I can also see here the sun. And I think I have to change the stupidity to two. But it's just way too bright. I don't, I don't really like this this bright look. Let's maybe change this here to eight o'clock. Maybe that helps. And we can also see here the sun. Hmm. It's really hard to tell. Let's try it with seven o'clock. I'll make this look a little bit better. So early, early morning sun, something like that. We can also change this here to south and this to west. Okay. So let's change this here to eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Mm-hmm. Ten o'clock. Hmm. Let's change the power maybe to two. Let's change this here to eleven. Oh, this looks pretty cool, I think. Let's maybe change power to 1.5 uh, maybe 1.2 and also change the north offset maybe 
a little bit. Okay, I think I can leave it like that. And I also want to change now the rendering from direct lighting to pass tracing. Okay, and this was also my mistake. Um, as you can see, now we can see the ground through the water. Um, if you're working with direct lightning and stuff like that isn't working, you just simply have to up the specular depth to a value till you are satisfied. I think you don't have, or is it the glossy depth? No, it's not the glossy depth, definitely not. Maybe it's the diffuse depth. Oh, and I think you also have to change this to GI diffuse, sorry. Here we go, and now it's working. Specular depth 1, 3, and at 3 it's already working. But let's change this just simply to pass tracing. Oh, sweet mother, this was really my mistake. Sorry for that. But I don't want to see the ground now anyway, so we'll just simply delete the ground. No! Oh, this was my mistake. Um, I think I will just simply change the length here to a smaller value. Maybe there's something like 10. Maybe there's something like 2. So I can't see too much here. Is this even working now? I might have to change this here in the protection, in the pro projection. So, let's just simply scale this down here. We could just use some kind of a stone texture, so like many, many stones. Uh, let's just find something stone. Uh, yeah, maybe something like that, but there's a little bit of grass in it, which I don't really like. I mean, I could just simply cut this away inside. Yeah, something like that. This looks good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Yes, let me just download this file. Thanks. Okay, and now we'll just simply load this gravel texture. All right, load it, and now we'll just simply pull up the scale. Let's just click on reset, and let's see how this looks. Okay, this is way too big. Definitely want to make this smaller. Also here smaller, oh no, not so small. Don't really want to see the tiling. And I think I also want to have a little bit dirtier water, so what I could do is, I could work here um, with the absorption uh, which will not really do much right now I think, but I also have to change transmission maybe to something like a dirty water something like this maybe yes okay now let's also change this back here maybe to 0.01 and let's give it a little bit let's try to make it a little bit brighter so we can see a little bit through but not not too much uh, maybe something like that uh, that's too much mm. Maybe something like that. I think this looks good. I think we can see through a little bit, but not too much, which is pretty okay. And I still want to change the lightning. I still don't like the lightning. I don't know what it is. When I'm not satisfied, it's just simply I can't render it out. It's impossible for me. And I'm always hitting the power slider. This is really, really absolutely awesome. I think now for the third time or something like that, I'm playing around with the power slider instead of the north offset uh, I think I think I think I have just to change the time here maybe no yes whoa okay let's change back the power to one ok 
Okay. Maybe an HDRI is still the better solution, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay, here we can see the sun. I think this looks pretty nice. I think I will just leave it right here. I think I will just leave it, and I think I will still change a little bit the color of the shield. I don't really like this pure white, to be honest. As you can see, when we change this down, also we can see the reflection a little bit better. Maybe I really want to have a black shield, which would also look pretty nice. Or something like a dark red shield. This really depends on us, to be honest. And also pull up the roughness. I don't think I want to do so. Oh, point oh two, something like that. Yes. Let's change the index down maybe to something like 1.3 so we can keep a little bit more of the color. Um, I think like this it looks pretty good. I think this is, I mean, this is really just a matter of taste. I mean, this is just really me playing around now uh, till I find a color uh, I'm satisfied with. And this is also absolutely clean, the shield. I mean, normally I would, would try to make this now really dirty and stuff like that. And also maybe put some scratches here on the sword. I mean, this is really absolutely 100% clean, which I don't really like. So this shouldn't be really a 100% realistic shot. This should be just really, I don't know, me playing around. And you just simply maybe see how I do stuff and maybe learn something and uh, things like that. So, yeah. I think I do like it, but oh, maybe something like that. This looks pretty good. Maybe even a little bit more. Yes, this looks pretty cool. I think this this color I really like. I think this looks really really nice, and. Oh, we'll also pull up the power of the sun a little bit more, maybe 1.5. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we'll just jump into my camera. And I think I will also add a little bit of depth of field. And I will just use the focus. And we'll try to get this here into focus. So the stone here and the stones here in the back get a little bit out of focus and the shield and the sword get a little bit more into focus and I think this is just too much aperture let's just simply set this here to one so we get a little bit of of DOF right here and uh, I think I also want to enable the camera image huh? let's maybe pull the ISO up a little bit no we don't want to pull up the ISO it's just way too much. I think I will now just simply play around a little bit with the curves here. Till I find something that I really like. Uh, it's a little bit greenish. Uh, maybe something like that. Uh, I think I like this one. And let me also enable the pop. The post processing and the bloom is okay, but what's going on here? We definitely need to change down the glare power. <laughs> okay. What is this here? Here's absolutely nothing on the water. But the glare definitely freaks out as hell. Okay, I think I will just simply do this then in post work. Anyway, okay. 
Anything else I wanna add? I think a little bit more DOF couldn't hurt. Maybe let's pull this pull this up a little bit more. I just changed it down now. I wanna pull it pull it up a little bit more. I know. This might be a little bit crazy, but anyway. 1.5. Okay, and Let's set the aperture edge maybe also to two. And anything else I want to change? I think I'm still not satisfied with those rocks, but I mean, I could just try to use the other texture that I have in, had in mind. Uh, where is it? This one. This might look better. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's see what I can do in post work. Maybe I can can change this a little bit, a little bit better. And I also want to change the cost explorer here to one, so the water clears up a little bit better. I think this will definitely help. Russian roulette probe. I don't think we want to use this. And max depth eight will also be more than enough. And keep environment can also be ticked on. All right. Okay, one last tweak. One last tweak. Uh, let's change the sun a little bit. Okay. But so we'll lose the sun here. Okay, let's just keep it. Um, I will just close this. Um, um, Octane will automatically save those settings and I would just simply go here to output 1020 by 1080 um, let me open this up once again and I think I will just go with how many max samples I think I will just pull the max samples here to 2000 so at 2000 samples it will just simply stop rendering the image I think 2000 might be enough for this image and um, I will also go for a float buffer, so 32-bit image. And also let me save this here as an open AXR on the desktop for now. Palatine Promo Extended, okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu okay, I think this is good. That should be fine, everything should be fine. Uh, okay, so let's click on Render to Picture Viewer and let's see. I mean, this will now definitely look a little bit different and this is because we are um, rendering this out in 32-bit and this is definitely not the shot I was looking for, I think. I have to change the camera now a little bit. Since I did close this window, this did change everything around a little bit, so I need the live viewer again. Yeah, to get my final look back. Which will not be that easy, I think. Something like that. Yes, this looks pretty cool, I think. Okay, I already found it. And let's go to Render to Picture Viewer. And as you can see, the color really looks a little bit different. And like I said, this is because we are now rendering in 32-bit. And I'm still... Am I crazy or something? What's going on today? What? Oh. Oh, ha. I guess I have some animation going on probably in the scene. This is why my camera changes, which is not really good. Um, do I have some animation going on anywhere? Hello? Okay, this is... Hä? Okay, let me try this once again. Let me try to adjust the camera once again. Hello? Okay. Okay, I simply don't get it. Okay, 
Okay, now it's working. And I think I don't want to be that close. I think I can't really rely on the live view right now. I really have to s look here into the scene. Uh, something like that. Okay. Perfect. So now, random to picture viewer. <laughs> And now we'll also smoke my last cigarette, I guess. And let's see how fast this clears up. Uh, I mean, it's rendering really, really fast. And I mean, this is um, this is past tracing right now. And it's rendering with only one 780 GTX with 4.73 ms a second. So this is really, really nice. Really, really good. Um, I think this will clear up pretty nice and we don't have a lot of hot pixels in the scene So this looks really good And as you can see also this bump, I mean probably have to work on this a little bit more um, But as you can see it also gives us this little bit blurry reflections on the water um, Which looks really really cool um, I'm still not 100% satisfied here with the with the with the bump on the water. Um, I think it's just too small should be a little bit should be a little bit bigger uh, there are just too many uh, too many distortions on the water so they should definitely be scaled out a little bit more um, but I think I will just finally render this out like this right now okay I will just pause this video and um, show you this again when it hits uh, 2000 samples Alright, so it's done. Um, 14 minutes was the render time for uh, 2000 sub pixels. I think this is absolutely okay with 1780 GTX. Uh, so we'll just simply save this now and bring it into Photoshop. And let me open up Photoshop quickly. Alright, so here we go. Here we have our picture now in Photoshop. 32 bit, which is pretty good, gives us uh, a lot of stuff to play around with. And I will use filter camera raw filter first of all, before I do anything else. And I will definitely change the. Okay. This seems really, really overexposed here. Jesus. Okay. Now we can also change the tint here a little bit of the picture. Can change the temperature, or maybe something like that. Contrast, uh, maybe something like that. Clarity, yes, I want to have a little bit more clarity. Maybe not. Or maybe something like that. Let me click on. Okay, okay, this is really, really weird. Because this is so white here, the camera raw filter definitely does something, does some weird stuff here. Huh, how can I change this? Never had this problem before with the camera raw filter, to be honest. Vibrance and saturation is doing absolutely nothing, that's clear. Um, hmm. That's really, really nice. Why would you do something like that? Why? Why would you do that to me? Okay, bye bye camera raw filter. We'll just go with the magic bullet photo looks then. No pro Okay. Same shit, different day. Um, let's just convert it then. Mode 16 bit. Don't merge. Alright, and let me now use the camera raw filter. Thanks. Okay, all right. Mm. 
so something like that I think looks pretty cool contrast yeah, maybe something like that highlights oh, maybe shadows maybe leave the shadows a little bit more looks better I think whites are already white enough blacks okay and clarity as you can see if you pull up the clarity we still have a little bit of noise in the picture when normally we could definitely use some kind of uh, noise reduction plugin but in this case I will just simply uh, pull down the clarity a little bit and vibrance we can just simply leave then we can also with the HSL control different colors so here we can control the reds we don't have too much of those then here we can change the oranges so the orange color of the sun as you can see right here on the stone um, so this will be really red yellow I think I want to go for something like orange something like that and then we can also change the yellows a little bit this should also have some impact on our gold material as you can see okay something like that looks pretty good I think green I think I don't think we have any green here in the scene okay this will change our water the blues so we can also change our watercolor if you want to And here we can change the color of our shield. And this also has a little bit impact on our water. Maybe something like that. Okay, all right. Um, saturation, we could still change the saturation of the water here. So we could completely take out the water. Which also looks pretty cool, I think. Um, I think I will just I think we'll just simply do that and I think we'll also take away maybe the sun color. So we only have some color from the on the shield. Well let's maybe leave some sun color. I mean I don't wanna go for a complete black and white image, so we'll just simply switch this a little bit upwards but this also has a little bit of impact on our stone which is not too good uh. <laughs> I mean this would really look dope if this wouldn't impact the stone as well Maybe something like that. I think I can. I think I can live with that. That's also here on the stone a little bit. And we also can add here. Where is it in the FX? Uh, a nice vignetting. So as you can see, here we can add a little bit of vignetting. Okay. Can also change the roundness a little bit. Highlights. No. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. Let's click on OK. And I think I still want to get rid of a little bit of the blues. Let's go filter magic bullet photo looks. And let's delete everything I got here. Let's go to post range SL. And let's pull in the blues here which also has some impact on our shield, which is really, really weird. Maybe, okay. Okay, here we go. When I pull this in, this should definitely get rid of the blue here in the back. Okay, pretty good. And I think I also want to get okay orange getting rid of the orange is not so good also yellow is probably not an 
not a good idea. Okay, I think I, I think I just have to live with the stone. That the stone also have some color. I mean, I could just simply mess this out and make this black and white as well, if I want to. But to be honest, this is just really. I don't want to put too much work in this right now. Um, we also could add a little bit of chromatic aberration. Just to have it. Something like that, maybe. Why not? Yes, something like that, maybe. And another thing that we could add. What else could we add? Um, good question. Film grain. Vignette we already added. Haze flare. A little bit of diffusion. Diffusion might also look good. Oh, not so much. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And let's change down the glow. Just to zero. No. Something like that. Highlights only. And let's change the grade to something like, let's set the grade to 1. This would just give us a little bit of diffusion. And let's click on finished. OK. And I really think I want to make this here black and white, to be honest. Um, Let me just make a quick mask here. Um, okay. Um, how is this working again? How is this working again? I think I will just create a mask like that. Delete this and then create here a mask for this here. Make this black. Hmm. I don't think it's working like that. How can I do this again? I don't remember right now. That's bad. That's really bad, 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 bad. It's so easy and I can't remember it. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe the complete shot in black and white. Maybe this looks good. Maybe not. No, I just want to have this part here black and white. To be honest, I don't think I don't even need a layer mask. I can just simply cut this out here, bring it to a new layer, edit, cut, edit, paste. No! Oh, okay. And image adjustments black and white. Yes. This doesn't really fit with the color of the. Hmm, with the rest of the object. To be honest, I think I will just leave it right here and maybe make the complete image black and white because I think this also looks good. I can't really change this here, only this because. This also has an impact here. The water. Uh, I, I would need to find the same the same color as the water if I change this here separately to black and white. And um, I think this is just too much work now. And we could leave it like that if we want to. And I think uh, just a normal black and uh, normal black and white overall would also look pretty good. Um, 
I think there are some nice black and white filters somewhere here in the presets of uh, I mean there are definitely some nice filters, some nice pre-filters but I'm just looking for the black and white filters right now black and white crunch auto art This also looks pretty good, I think. Anyway. Yeah, maybe something like that. I think I like it. I like it more like this. I will just leave it right there. Okay, so this was um, me playing around with the Paladin scene. Um, maybe you learn some stuff. As you can see, I'm, I'm really just... Uh, I'm really just playing around a lot of the time with with my things till till I like them. Normally, I would really just um, try to get everything done. Since this is really just a simple tutorial or follow up tutorial to the to the basic tutorials or uh, basic tutorial of Octane, um, it wasn't really my intent to create a super realistic, super amazing, awesome scene. I just thought uh, put a little bonus tutorial up and also. Um, give you guys finally the Palatine scene uh, for those guys who were waiting for it and maybe the one or the other have learned a little bit or a little bit something and um, yeah this was really my, my only concern to 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 create this so i hope you had at least a little bit of fun uh, i definitely had some fun uh, at least with the spider and um yeah um for more free tutorials and premium tutorials you can buy uh please um visit my website cursestudio.com and yeah i wish you a nice day and i hope i can uh put up a new tutorial really really soon okay so have a nice day and see you next time bye bye